If you can sit, you can get fit. The Hawaii chair. Number I really 14, like that jingle, facial though. Flex. This device looks more like it belongs in a dental clinic than as part of your daily beauty and what? fitness regime. Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Jason. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm joined again by my girlfriend, CJ. If you want to go and say hello. Hello. Today, we are going to be watching the top 20 worst as seen on TV items ever from Watch Mojo because I miss as seen on TV products. These were the greatest things ever. I still believe that like Netflix should have a whole show or just some streaming service that's just just infomercials like as seen on TV products. I would watch that all the time. And before you watch this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to all that stuff down below. It helps me out a bunch. Number 20, Poo Trap. Oh, Introducing God. Poo Trap, an amazing new innovation that eliminates the need of picking up after your dog. So, so this is just like a dog diaper that just catches the dog's poop. This just makes me feel bad because it's like the dogs are just walking around like because dogs smell each other's butts and then there's just a bag in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19, Potty Putter. Golf clam. Oh God, I've heard of this one. Golf clam. If you think talking toilet paper would be a ridiculous addition to your bathroom, wait till you hear about buying your very own miniature golf set to put on the floor in front of you. It's quite literally like when you go to the bathroom, it's a little mat. And you can just you can just put a golf ball. Yeah, I think that's fun. <laughs> I think it's quirky. Like between if if you put a squatty potty and this in front of me and said pick one of these two things to put in your bathroom, I'm taking the mini golf. I think that's entertainment. Unfortunately, the potty putter raises more problems than it solves. Mainly the question of whether you set it up permanently. Or do you only take it honestly, out? Honestly, honestly, I respect this commercial so much for using that flag in the middle as like their sensor bar. I think that's hilarious. Number 18, Skinny's Instant Arm Lift. Have sagging arms? We can fix that. In what is perhaps the most insulting item on this list, the instant arm lift is used to get rid of unwanted flab by literally taping the flab to the- It's literally just tape? Yeah, like that's a thing that exists still today like not necessarily with like the sole purpose of it being for your arm but there's like there's like body tape like you do it to like lift lift the ladies up get them a little perkier you can do it to like pull stuff back out of the way whatever yeah like that's like stuff that still is a thing so you, wait a minute a wait a minute targeted that's product. a that's a thing like tape you put tape yeah, on like, your body yeah, it's like um have you like have you ever seen um like like women in like dresses that have like a plunging V neckline, right? Probably. Where it's like it's like very it's a very low low V and like the girls are not sitting low. They're sitting very high. It's because they're taped. Like they're you're taping the boob like over the shoulder to pull it up because you can't just wear like a normal bra like that. Number 17, GLH9. That's <laughs> great looking hair formula number nine and it's hair in a can. Well, at least you baldies wish it were. I remember hearing about this. It's quite literally just like spray paint that you paint over a bald spot to make it look like you have hair. That's not, but that doesn't work. It's just paint on your head. No, it fully works. What are you talking about? Number 16, fat magnet. There's a lot of fat. Look at that. Eating healthy is something we all want to do, but unhealthy food just tastes so good. Well, the fat magnet claims to be the perfect solution. You hover it over your food and the excess fat on greasy foods gets sucked up by magnets or something like that. There's no way this thing actually works. There's no magnet that just lifts up fat. I'm just curious why people would even buy that because I feel like the main draw would be like extra grease and stuff. You can just use a napkin. Yeah. Like you already own napkins. It's not making your life easier because that's like another thing that you would then have to wash whereas like with a napkin you just dab, 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 throw it out. Why would, like I don't even get the draw of it because the alternative is so, so much more convenient. And it should be apparent to anyone watching that it is nothing but a cash grab. Maybe just buy a salad instead? <laughs> Number 15, Hawaii chair. And I'm gonna get yours started oh, geez, right now. Oh, what's happening? Uh, well, whoa. First, wait uh, a minute. Wait, 
What? What does this I'm... have to do with Hawaii? If you're stuck in an office all day, finding the time to work out can be a struggle. So wait a minute. This is supposed to be like, I guess they're trying to say you'll get an ab workout while ever you're while you're sitting, but that's not how that works. You would just be moving in a circle a lot. Like that's all that would be happening. You wouldn't be getting any workout in. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming probably for like, um, not necessarily in the advertising of the product, but like behind the scenes, they're like, hey, this is why our product isn't a scam is just the fact that like, when you move in general, like that's burning energy and blah, blah, blah. So technically, this thing moving without you having to move is burning energy. It works. It doesn't have to be crushing your obliques. It's just, it's just burning that energy. I feel like you accomplish this with a, like, you know how you've seen people like sit in, sit on top of just a big ball. I feel mm -hmm. like you accomplish what this thing is trying to accomplish. And I'm assuming this costs a lot more money since it's got like electronics in it. <laughs> Maybe this was before like Google told the world, hey. Serious people sit on bouncy balls, all right? <laughs> Don't look at us weird, we're Google, yeah. On top of that, it's too rambunctious to function in a quiet workplace environment. Yeah, I was about to ask, like, with the time at which this product was made, I, I assume this thing had to be loud. If you're working in a quiet office, I guarantee you, if there was one person who had this, they're like, I, they want to freaking kill you for how annoying this thing is. You know what, though? I feel like this, if they would have, like, kept it going today and like tweaked it a little bit, made it a little quieter, whatever. This could have done numbers during the pandemic. Cause like <laughs> while everybody was like, like specifically that time where everybody like across the country was essentially like trapped inside. People are working from home. They're like, you know what I want? I want to gyrate my hips while I do my taxes. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's at home and they're like, yeah, no, I'm working out. I have the Hawaii chair. I'm good. <laughs> the the child, like somebody's kid comes in. They're like, mom, can I get a hula hoop? They're like, no, you have a hula hoop at home. The hula hoop at home. <laughs> the hula chair. If you can sit, you can get fit. The Hawaii chair. Number I really 14, like that jingle, facial though. Flex. This device looks more like it belongs in a dental clinic than as part of your daily beauty and what? fitness regime. You can do other things. You can put lotion on your body. You can make a bed. You can get dressed. So just keep flexing. This product couldn't. I, I already am imagining the memes that would be made from this thing. No. <laughs> get your head out of the gutter. Get your head out of the gutter. Number 13, Rejuvenique. Younger looking skin is only oh God, I've definitely seen this before. Away. Just get into your silk pajamas, sit in your favorite fireside chair, and enjoy facial toning sessions that send impulses from a 9-volt battery directly into your 12 yeah. facial zones. Yep, it's quite literally a mask you put on that shocks your face. Number 12, Kush Support. Introducing Kush, the comfortable nighttime companion. The product is basically a piece of foam or plastic <laughs> that goes in. What? <laughs> I remember seeing this. This is, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just something you put in. But okay, whenever they said Kush support and they showed it, I thought it was going to be like the shirt. Like it's like a special kind of shirt that is like tighter around that area and like holds them up while you're sleeping. Like that's, I was like, okay, that's not that bad. I was not expecting literally just a rod you shove in between your tits. Don't... No, because like, why would you, nobody wants to sleep in a bra. That's I don't just know. sad. That's just I don't like, know. Like, I was... It doesn't feel comfortable breathing wise. Like I don't want to wake up and feel like I can't breathe. Not really, but like, you know, like it's just like, you got to let the girls be free. A vast number of consumers complain that it doesn't stay in place due to the poor slippery quality of the material. Sorry, sea cuppers, but you'll have to find relief elsewhere. <laughs> Number 11, Zoomies. Introducing Zoomies, the compact, hands-free, high-power binoculars you wear like sunglasses. Like, when you first hear them, you're like, oh, yeah, glasses that, like, zoom. I was like, okay, that's not that bad. But then you think about it for a second, and it's like, well, so you just carry them around anyways because you're not going to wear them all the time 
you're not going to wear zoom glasses every single place you go then at that point it's just like just have binoculars yeah i mean it's not it's not the worst piece of eyewear i've ever seen i mean are you going to tell people about how you bought the snapchat spectacles is oh, that what babes, this is? Have have fun have fun editing this video. I already grabbed them, put them on, and took them off. <laughs> <laughs> they turn any TV into a big screen TV. We can imagine that even avid bird watchers. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's actually that is the one use I could somewhat see these for is for old people who are like, oh my god, my vision's going bad. I need to see the TV. But like glasses exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and like this automatically takes out anybody who wears glasses because like if you wear glasses you still would need like like that glasses that on under it more yeah you put glasses on and they these on over the top of them that is an atrocity i would never want to wear two pairs of glasses ever mm -hmm. number 10 Cami secret. You love that low cut top this. for going out at night. I don't know but what this sometimes is. Sometimes showing that much cleavage the just fake, isn't right. This ad top. gets off to a seriously rocky start when a boss looks down his employee's top. But having the narrator make it the woman's fault is worse. It's designed to attach quickly and easily right to your bra. Wait a minute. This ad okay, I was I was waiting for them to show what the actual full thing looked like. So it's quite literally like you just attach it to your bra. Just why would you not just wear a tank top? It's less of a layer. Like it's similar to like um, what are those like the the fake like collars for like shirts like that you could like put on where it's not really like a full collared long sleeve shirt. It's just like yeah. the collar and it's shaped like a bib, and you mm -hmm. just put it under like a sweatshirt or something like that. It's like that. So you're not actually wearing like a full second layer. You're really I defending get, this product. You you want to buy it? I don't. I I would never buy this product, but I get the appeal because I like the idea of the like collars that are removable. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm a very sweaty person. Okay, <laughs> the less layers, the better. Number nine, better marriage blanket. Offending molecules are absorbed before anyone knows they're there. <clears throat> The fact that this is even on the market speaks volumes about our culture. Don't do that! What am I doing? Don't fart in the bed! We're not gonna sugarcoat this. The Better Marriage Blanket is a comforter that absorbs your spouse's fart so that it doesn't <laughs> stink up the bed. So whether you or your spouse suffer... <laughs> That's funny as hell. I'm not gonna lie. That's really funny. I think it's a good product. I think, I think that's like... It's not ridiculous. Like, it's, it's still a blanket, so it's functional. Whenever they said the better marriage blanket, what I was expecting was it was like a blanket that had a something in the middle as like a divider to like keep you separate. So that's what I was fully going. I was like, OK, so this is going to be something so like people don't steal the blanket. But no, it's for farts. I don't think a divider is stopping anybody from stealing the blanket. I thought it was going to be like just a really big blanket. <laughs> so that you couldn't steal it. But like a divide, that seems like a worse. That seems like we're planning for divorce. <laughs> Split the bed down the middle. Number eight, the Euro Club. Okay, okay. Shark so, so I want to clarify earlier when I was like, oh, the potty putter, that was the thing that I had heard of. No, this is the thing that I had heard of. The ads for the Euro Club promise a, quote, discreet, sanitary way for your urgent relief. However, there's nothing discreet about peeing into a golf club with a receptacle built into the grip. Yep, it's quite literally a golf club that has a container in it, so you could just walk off to the side and take a piss in it. Yep. <laughs> what if you forget about it to, like, empty it out? Yeah, oh. it, well, the, there's so many issues with this because, one... It is so obvious that you are peeing into this golf club. Like, they're trying to hide it. Like, look, any person looks over like, what is that guy doing with his club? Like, what, what, what is he doing? Not only that, like, think about logically for a second. You pissed into this golf club. Now there's a liquid inside your golf club. It's, like, warm. That's gross to hold. And two, when you're, you have to swing the golf club. So there's just liquid moving around in this golf club as you're taking a swing. Nice shot. Like, if you have to dump it out, then you might as well have just pissed somewhere in the grass. <laughs> the Euro Club comes with a towel and appears that you are just checking out your club. Leak-proof, easy to clean, and no embarrassing moments. Why would you- Everything wait, hold on, hold on, that- hold on, back up, back up, back up. I have to find this part. Le 
This guy right here. When you're doing it by a tree like this, you already look like you're peeing. You just look like you're peeing right now. Number seven, Slob Stopper. Has this ever happened to you? Yes. Introducing the Slob Stopper. Slob Stopper. You feel dirty just saying it. So that was literally just a bib. Yeah, but like, I really liked that commercial. Because it was you liked very it? much... Yeah, because that's like, that's, I feel like that was the first in this list that was stereotypically like infomercial. Has this ever happened to you? Insert goofy scenario in which the yeah, lid every... of that coffee just flopped off, like it flew away. Yeah, it's just, just like, has this ever Ooh. happened to you? And the guy just takes a sip and just, oh no, it's all over me. I love those. Like everything <laughs> else has been like pretty tame. In terms of like, it's a ridiculous product, but the infomercial wasn't ridiculous. That was, that was, that was something. I'm concerned about the next one just immediately because we paused it right here that we're just seeing the backup and seeing a, a rifle. Yeah, we got the Remington bull action rifle. We're ready. Stay strapped up even when you're sleeping. The backup. The patented backup gun rack keeps your shotgun at your bedside and is easily hidden by blankets and sheets. The backup is a gun rack that's meant to house a gun <laughs> beside your bed in order to shoot intruders without you even having to leave the comfort of your mattress. Okay, in all honesty, this is the first one that I'm like... I could see a lot of people buying this. Like, I could definitely... I lived in Texas for a while. I would not be surprised if a good number of the people I know there, like, straight up just have this thing. I get it. But, like, why is a shotgun your choice of weapon to keep at your bedside? Like, just yeah. get, like, a pistol, put it on the... In the bedside table or whatever. Because I can just imagine, like, somebody's little... Little Timmy walks into Mommy and Daddy's room. He's like... Nightmare. Number five, long reach comfort wipe. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. Though as seen on TV items tend to be bad across the board, the worst of the lot was bound to be found in the bathroom. Well, at least there's no play on words. The long reach comfort wipe lets you know what it's all about right from the get go. It creates a degree of separation between your hands and the toilet paper when it comes time to wipe. So it's literally just a thing that holds your toilet paper so when you're wiping your ass, you're not like actually putting your hand on your ass. I mean, I guess if you're like germophobic, I could maybe see the point of this, but otherwise it just seems like an extra thing in your home that you're like, when people come over, they'll see that like, what's that? That you have to explain to people. Oh yeah, when I wipe my ass, I put my toilet paper on that. <laughs> No, but like, if you're a germaphobe, just get gloves. Just get gloves. <laughs> Number four, perfect poly. Grandma, you have a pet? Honestly, there is little fun to be had here. Why does this look like the birds that they have at like the opening gift shop of Cracker Barrel? This is kind of dumb, but this isn't that dumb. It's just, it's just something like I feel like my grandparents would randomly have in their house. Yeah, no, I've literally seen this in a Cracker Barrel. I feel like the reason this is dumb is how they're acting in the commercial where they're like, wow, you got a new pet. Like they're acting like it's a real bird. Number three, TV hat. Private, portable, and hands-free. For any <laughs> sci-fi writers who predicted a dystopian future in which TV replaces social interaction. I mean, it just reminds me of like how people look when they're watching stuff on like an Oculus Rift, but it's not <laughs> VR. <laughs> No, this is VR pre-VR. Good for them. Number two, shake weight. The weight. shake weight. Women are yes, always you knew the shake weight had to be on here. I remember seeing this all the time. And my favorite thing about these commercials is there was one dude in the shake weight commercials. He was like this buff dude. And when he was doing the shake weight, it was like they leaned into the, the meme. And he was the entire time like, ugh, ugh. That's how I got, that's how I got these muscles. Shake that's weights. how you got the, oh yeah, it yeah. was the shake weight, huh? Okay, next, <laughs> moving on. Press play, press play, press play, but I should have just, I should have just sat there and eat my cereal. This is oh, this is the dude. for men, and it's going to kick your butt. Whew, that's it. In just six minutes a day, 
this little guy will work its magic. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. Why's your family and friends? Don't look now, but the neighbors can see you. <laughs> the That's talking funny. toilet paper? So it just, it's just, it's just like a speaker on your toilet paper to like prank people when they come over. I think that's funny. Like, not always, but like, like if somebody did it like once, I'd be like, oh my God, you know. <laughs> Spins your hair like a tornado to dry and curl oh, your hair. Oh, I remember. This is so bad. That was so, so bad. I remember seeing these commercials too. And even like as a child, I was like, your hair is just going to get tangled up, caught up. This sounds horrible. How would that work? Like, I don't need this product, obviously. But if I did, I would never buy it. Like, that looks dumb. Spray goes where other deodorants can't. A spray your butt. A spray your feet. A spray under your arm. So this was, this was just basically spray. Like, just any other, like, body spray, whatever you want to, like, deodorant, whatever you want to call it. What's the word I'm looking for? But cologne. <laughs> cologne that's what I was looking for. It, they wanted it to, like, look like it's medical or something like that. It's the A spray. You could spray it on your butt. And even A spray your privates. A spray is safe for all your odor zones. <laughs> it's a struggle to fit into ordinary jeans. They're uncomfortable and leave marks on your skin. This but pajama jeggings. jeans are so- Yes, this was like yeah, the, the, the jeggings era. Yeah, that's just jeggings. Just whatever happened to jeggings? I feel like those, those were a thing for like literally 30 seconds and then just died off so fast. I feel like- they evolved because I think like originally when jeggings came out, it was literally like a legging with like jean print on it. Like they slowly started like changing the like materials in jeans. So then there were like stretchier jeans. I've had a lot of like jeans and leggings and also like pseudo jeggings. I've seen the evolution. I don't know exactly where they are today. They've evolved. Pants got stretchier and I support that. Okay, so they're they're about to say number one. What do you think number one is? If you if you have a guess, I have the obvious guess, which I'm gonna be disappointed if it is number one. But what's your guess? The obvious guess. I don't. I don't know. The obvious I, guess is it's gonna be the snuggie, the blanket yeah, with sleeves. The wasn't, I don't think that deserves to be worse though. Like that's I I don't either, like but I feel like with sleeves. Yeah, I know. I feel like it doesn't deserve to be number one, but I feel like it's going to be because anytime I see any of these like worst as seen on TV items, they're always like, oh, the Snuggie is so bad. Dude, I had a Snuggie. It was it was great. I mean, it was basically just a backwards robe, but it was great. Yeah, like I don't I don't I don't think it deserves a spot on this list. I'm trying to think of like all, the only thing that I can think of, and it's not even like an infomercial product. It's just because I'm thinking about commercials is education connection. I went on the internet and found education connection. Get connected for free with education connection. Number one, oh, sauna pants. Now you can read, watch TV, or just relax in the privacy of your own home. One of the most perplexing weight loss devices ever. So, so it just heats up your like groin area? That's your it. Bits in your butt. Yep. You know that's really bad. I don't. I can't speak for women, but it's very bad for men, especially if you want to have children someday. I remember even like whenever laptops, like whenever I was younger and laptops were like first really becoming a thing, I saw done a ton of stuff that would say like with men, don't put your laptops actually on your lap because the heat is that bad for you down there. These are bulky, uncomfortable pants that heat up the lower half of your body in the hopes of making you sweat. They also need to be plugged in, meaning that you must be sitting within five feet of an outlet. Okay, so you have to be sitting. I was literally in my brain when they were saying that, like showing this product. I was like, okay, there is one singular use I could possibly imagine this thing for. And it's if you were like going somewhere like outside for a long period of time where it's going to be very cold, just like something to heat your body up. I was like, OK, well, then I could see the purpose. No, you literally have to be sitting next to an outlet. So it does, it's not even like chargeable. This is terrible. No, you wouldn't <laughs> want to wear those for like a long period of time because like you're going to sweat so much and you're going to get dehydrated. I know. Well, I was just thinking like, oh, turn it on its lowest setting. Yeah, like you're going to a football game. They, I, I go to a lot of Chiefs games. They get pretty cold at those games. Sometimes I'm like, man, I wish I had something that I could like just keep the heat on 
Has this ever happened to you? Are you sitting at a football game? But bit freezing cold? Man, I wish I had a pair of sauna shorts. Has this ever happened to you? Does your ass get cold? No, never. Yep, so definitely I think that was fair and deserving of the number one spot. That was dumb. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all this stuff down below. It helps me out a lot. I'll have CJ's socials down below as well. You should uh, follow her on all of her stuff, especially on TikTok. It is super important that you follow her on TikTok. She's famous. <laughs> I don't right, guys. post on TikTok. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Has this ever happened to you?